We all need to open our love letter, and we need to read it, even if it is by candlelight. We all need a little light in our soul for the end time. Can the Old Testament show the things about Jesus in the New Testament? Well, let's grab our love letter and let's find out. The first one is the birth of Christ. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. But thou, Bethlehem Ephraim, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be the ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Jesus is the root of David. Behold, the day cometh, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the church. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Them trying to kill baby Jesus. Thus saith the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rael, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children, because they were not. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked at the wise men, was exceedingly wroth, and sent forth as through all the children that were in Bethlehem, and all the coast thereof, from two year old and under, according to the time which had diligently required of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was the voice heard, lamentation, and weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. Judas betraying Jesus Yea, my own familiar friend, and whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. I speak not of you all. I know who I have chosen, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me have lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit, and testified, and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you will betray me. Then the disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spoke. Now there was learning of Jesus. Bosom was of disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon T. Peter, therefore, decked to him that he should ask, Who is it to be whom he spoke? He then, lying on Jesus' breast, said unto him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a song. When I have dipped it, and when he had dipped this sod, 
he gave it to Judas, our Ascot, the son of Simeon. The thirty pieces of silver for Jesus Christ. And I said unto them, If ye think good, give me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Ascot, went to the chief priest and said unto them, What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they converted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Most people are, would put this in prophecy, but it has already been fulfilled, and that is... They shall look upon me, whom they have pierced. And I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitation of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace, and of supplication. And they shall look upon me, whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him, as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for for his firstborn. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth unto a place called the place of the skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him, and two other with him, on either, either side one, and Jesus in the midst. And again, another scripture saith, They shall look upon him whom they have pierced. Casting lots for his garments. And now for a little space, grace has been shown from the Lord our God to leave us a raiment to escape and to give us a nail in his holy place that our God may lighten our eyes and give us a little raving in our bondage. I may tell all my bones, they look and share upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lost upon my vesture. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. Jesus' bones would not be broken. In one house shall it be eaten. Thou shalt not carry forth aught of the flesh abroad out of the house, neither shall ye break a bone thereof. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was a high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and broke the legs of the first and of the other, which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead, Already they broke not his legs, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his sides, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bore record, and his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that he might believe. For these things were done, that the scriptures should be fulfilled, a bone of him shall not be broken. Jesus was buried with the wicked and the rich. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. When the evening was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea, named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered.
And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rocks. And he wrote a great stone to the door of the scepter and departed. Confirming the covenant of Jesus' death for a week. And ye shall keep it up till the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war destructions are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abomination he shall make it desolate, even until the consumption that is determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sab a chali, that is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, This man calls for Elijah. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. And the rest, the rest said, Let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. The Resurrection of the Death of Christ and the Resurrection of Us Come and let us return to the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days he revived us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. The word I say ye know, which was published throughout all of Judah, and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And we are witness of all things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hung on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. Bruising of the head and the heel. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. If you know these things, happy are you if you do them. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me lifted up his heel against me.